Hello, Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Allergies, Easing Your Symptoms. This module is part one of a three-part series on allergies. When you have allergies, your body reacts to something in the air called an allergen. Allergens can be in the air outside or inside. So knowing how your body reacts to allergens, what symptoms or complications you may have, will help you to know what you can do to control your symptoms and not them control you. In this course, the objectives are to help you know the basic information about allergies, the symptoms of allergies, complications that come with having allergies. Basically, there are four things that happen in your body when it comes to allergies. Here is what happens. First, your body comes into contact with an allergen. This can be outside, like pollen, or inside your home or office, like dust. When your immune system thinks the allergen is something that is harmful to you, like a virus, it creates antibodies to help protect you. The antibodies then travel to special mast cells and tell them to release chemicals, like histamine, to fight the allergen. Finally, these chemicals cause inflammation in your nasal cavity and you develop allergy symptoms like a runny or stuffy nose and sneezing. Allergy symptoms can range from mild to severe. They will usually be noticed right after you come in contact with an allergen, and depending upon what you are allergic to, you could have symptoms all year round or only during certain seasons. A list of common signs of allergies reads sneezing, stuffy or runny nose, itchy red or watery eyes, itchy nose, throat, ears, or roof of your mouth, headaches, sore throat, pressure in your nose, swelling or dark circles under eyes, decreased sense of smell or taste, popping or a stuffy feeling in your ears. Your symptoms can change over time and may slowly go away as you get older. Getting treatment for your allergies can help prevent more severe symptoms. It may also help other conditions, like asthma, from getting worse. If you don't treat your symptoms, fluid may be left sitting in your sinuses or middle ear. This can lead to ongoing ear or sinus infections. Please feel free to investigate these other sites for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part one of this three-part series on allergies.